Hi, my name's Claudia. I'm the Head of Marketing and Communications at Rideship. To celebrate International Women's Day in Maritime, I thought I'd recommend a book that every woman should read, which I would probably say uh, something like The Woman in White, which is uh, written in the 1850s. And it's basically a, a real drama, mystery, plot twist thriller um, where uh, <laughs> a load of people conspire to frame an innocent woman, but she ends up uh, getting off and uh, defeating all of her enemies. But it's a really, really gripping storyline and you really feel for all the characters involved. So I definitely recommend reading something like that. Hi everyone, Thanks. my name is Carol and I'm from Inspections Team. I would like to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day and happy Women's Day in Maritime. As you can see, I've changed my hair color to purple in this special occasion. And also I would like to share one more thing, which is a great book to be read on. The title of the book is The Light We Carry by Michelle Obama. One of the quotations that I found very inspirational is this. If you know your light, you know yourself. You know your own story in an honest way. The book teaches us how to be light to ourselves, to our family and friends, and to others. Enjoy reading the book and have fun. Thank you. Hi, I'm Hazika from the Data Science Team, and this is the book that I think all women should read, The Adventures of Amina al Sirafi by Shannon Chakraborty. It's one of the most unique fantasy novels I've read in the sense that it doesn't have a young heroine saving the world. Instead, we have Amina, a middle-aged mother who dreams of reliving her old glory days as the captain of the most notorious pirate crew in the Indian Ocean. So when the opportunity arises, Amina is unable to resist the call of the sea and sets off on one final adventure with her friends. If you're a fantasy novel fan, you should definitely check this book out. Hi everybody, I'm Serene from the Strategy Team, and the book that I would recommend all women to read is Make Your Bed by Emerald William H. McRaven. It started as a university commencement speech in 2014 and has been made into a book. There are 10 lessons in this book and the one that stood out to me is not to be afraid of failures. Failures and disappointments are part and parcel of life and should be embraced where we can learn and improve. While it may be challenging at times, I like to refer to this book regularly to give me hope and encouragement. Highly recommend everybody to check this book out. Hi everyone, this is Hayden. I am an executive assistant at Right Ship and I'm based in Singapore. In celebration of the International Women in Maritime Day, I like to show you one of my favorite female led movies and it's called Hidden Figures. I'm not sure how many of you have watched or heard of this movie before. So it is a story of passion, determination, and a lot of perseverance. Hidden figures feature outstanding performances and pays tribute to three pioneering African-American women who played a central role at NASA in the early 1960s um, during the space race between the um, United States and the Soviet Union. So there is a lot of fear and oppression of that era, but the movie speaks of simple respect for women. And as we all know that that is a very challenging period for women, and especially so for women in colour. So it is a joy um, to see powerful women um, as the driving force around the movie, um, which is very inspiring um, to girls of all ages. A lot of positive representation um, from the movie itself and that women can be strong, women can be smart, women can be funny, and yes, women can change the world. So hopefully we will continue to have more accurate representation of hardworking women in the world. And maybe if I watched this 30 years ago, I would have pursued to study math or computer science. Hello everyone, I'm Shirley, a customer service coordinator in China. To celebrate International Women in Maritime Day, when it comes to one of my favorite female lead movie, I think of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Would you tell me please, which way I ought to go from here? That depends on a good deal on where you want to get to. 
The choice must be yours. Yesterday morning, I woke up at 4 a.m. for the transport to the vessel that we were about to inspect in Barcelona Anchorage. So by 7, we board this vessel for the inspection and before the opening meeting, I asked for the toilet. I noticed that there were no sanitary facilities, garbage bins, so on and so forth. And I, in the opening meeting, I asked to the captain to rectify that to put garbage bins, sanitary, hygienic bins for the woman because no woman likes to walk around with a dead body in the pocket, right? Uh, the captain immediately acknowledged that and that's just a small example because this was immediately ratified on how good the progress is of making the maritime environment a comfortable place for everyone, male and female. Happy Woman Maritime Day. I am Andy. I envision a world where women feel empowered to embrace and celebrate their accomplishments boldly. They should be able to share their achievements without worrying about being perceived as boastful or overshadowing anyone. By embracing and celebrating women's accomplishments, we can collectively work towards achieving true gender equality. Hello, my name is Charlene Grek, and my role at Rightship is that of a Software Quality Assurance Lead. As we are close to celebrate Women in Maritime, I wanted to share with you two very interesting podcasts that I usually listen to, of which both of them are hosted by great, or rather, but by what I define as great and very interesting women. One of which is Unlocking You, hosted by Brene Brown. And the other one is uh, very much different in nature, yet uh, super interesting nonetheless, um, called Call Your Girlfriend, hosted by um, two friends, Anne Friedman and Animat also. Um, while yes, both of them are very much different in nature. I feel that both of them give me that sense of good feel factor and there's always something positive to take out of each and every series that I listen to. So have a look at them. Hi, uh, I'm Devi Somasundram. I'm working as a quality assurance engineer. So my biggest motivation is my family. Uh, they are the biggest source of inspiration and my strongest supporters as well. When I see my parents working, it gives me the drive to be like them. Their dedication to working is what motivates me to be like them. So they are self-motivated individuals. Hence, I try to take the positivism in my life. And towards the women empowerment. Uh, so the first step towards that is we can take it by respecting every women around us and also respecting their thoughts views and opinions. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, my name is Leah. I'm part of the marketing team based in London. Um, my favourite confidence booster when the dreaded imposter syndrome hits is I like to look back on my LinkedIn uh, work history um, and remind myself of all the roles that I've held and how far I've come professionally. For me, seeing them in a timeline is a great reminder of the risks and challenges I've overcome and how much I've learned and grown. And then if that doesn't work, I find that a bottle of wine helps too. What is my superpower? Well, if we've ever hung out, I've probably joked at some point that my superpower is that I'm very difficult to embarrass. And this comes from a lot of practice of putting myself in positions that involve said embarrassment. But as I reflect on it a bit more, I actually realize that this is quite a useful superpower for me to have. Because to not be easily embarrassed, I need to separate myself and my ego from any situation. Doing this means that I take more risks. It means that I shed my fear of failing or feeling like less than. It means that I allow myself to be vulnerable, even if I feel foolish or uncomfortable. Did you know 
that men will apply for a position if they meet 60% of its criteria and women will only apply if they meet 100%. As I think about my career, I can assure you I have never felt 100% ready for the day, let alone an entire new position. And putting myself in these uncomfortable situations has meant that I have learned, I've failed, I've dusted myself off, I've started again. Um, I've often asked questions that maybe expose my lack of knowledge, but hopefully also my desire to learn and do more. So my unsolicited advice for you today is make yourself very difficult to embarrass and a very happy International Day for Women in Maritime. I like to answer the question on how do I shatter st negative stereotypes? Um, let's just recall some of the questions I get asked. If you're from Singapore, where do you dress like that? Or where do you learn how to speak English? Or on what occasion I was told my client is looking for someone who's looking more modern. And um, when that, was, that was when I was job searching many years ago. Um, Obviously, I am a Muslim hijabi professional from Singapore. Many people have labelled me differently from domestic helper to a terrorist even. But hardly ever a professional working in a global organisation. I just don't fit the mental image of a lot of general world population. But I choose to fight stereotypes by being true to myself, living my values and educating the people around me. Yes, of course, there are days I get offended, but I like to turn it around. <clears throat> Taking an opportunity to educate or reminding myself that other people's view are obviously not the same as mine, or maybe a little bit more limited than mine. I won't let stereotypes define me. I break stereotypes one conversation at a time. Hi, everyone. I would like to wish all ladies a happy International Women's or Maritime's Day. And how do I define success? Success to me is a constant change, the, having the willingness and the strength uh, to constantly uh, overcome all odds to achieve success and having the fearlessness in you uh, in the path of achieving success itself. So all ladies, go out there and make the change. Thank you.